Jack Krauser, Leon's former partner turned enemy. He's the third character you can play as in the Mercenaries and is the most unique of the playable characters. He has a powerful bow, devastating melee attacks, the fastest running speed in the game and an arm attack that destroys anything. Krauser is a character that most players have an easy time obtaining 60,000 points with. But, in case anyone is struggling, here's my video guide on how to effectively play Krauser on all four Mercenaries maps. A couple details worth knowing about Krauser is that although his bow can be slow to aim, it is almost as devastating as a magnum. Headshots should be prioritised as they are usually a guaranteed kill. You can increase the firing speed of his bow by letting go of the aim button as soon as you fire an arrow. This effectively skips the reload animation. As for his arm, it has limited range but will hit anything close to Krauser, be it behind, in front or to its sides. It can only be used when it's glowing, and the recharge time is around 45 seconds. His arm can be cancelled by pressing the activation button again. This is useful for knocking enemies away from you and gathering them for bonus chests. We'll start where Resident Evil 4 begins. The Village. If you haven't seen my spawn guide for this map, then you need to know that in order to spawn all the enemies and get the spawning working correctly on the 60 FPS versions of the game, you need to start next to the tub. Quickly run to the window on the left, jump through, and grab the timer. If you've done it fast enough, these enemies on the right will have appeared. If not, you need to restart. From here, it's time to gather supplies. The brown feathered chickens drop arrows and a grenade. Behind the chicken barn, there is a fire grenade, and in the tower, there is a hand grenade. Under the stairs of the shotgun house, you can find two flash grenades, and upstairs there's another grenade. Outside, you'll find the second chicken. This is the one that drops the hand grenade. Remember to break down all doors and windows so the ganado can move faster through the map. Now, to have a good start, I recommend luring the ten ganado into the large barn. You can provoke them into running towards you by aiming at them, firing some arrows, and backing up. Once they start running, run into the barn and count them as they come in so you know you've got all ten. Once they're in position, blow up the barrel and take the chest. For those who haven't seen my scoring system guide, the bonus chests make each kill during them count for 1300 points. These are the key to high scores on mercenaries, and the more kills you can get during them, the easier high scores and especially 60k becomes. It's important to avoid killing bosses during the chest if it can be helped, so use the flash grenade on the two chainsaw sisters and keep killing until the 30 seconds is up. Now it's all about maintaining the combo. Krauser's arrows can kill the ganados with a single headshot and can kill any plagas with a single shot as well. Alternatively, you can use his flash grenades on the plagas and kill the ganados with his powerful double kick. Head into the cow barn and stand at the back. Now all you need to do is stand your ground and kill everything that is in front of you, as you are effectively bottlenecking the enemy so they can only come from one direction. No surprise chainsaws sneaking up behind you in here. As for the Chainsaw Sisters, there are multiple ways for Krauser to deal with them. The most obvious is using his arm to instantly kill them. Just don't forget that you need to wait another 40 seconds before you can use it again. If you feel really brave, use flash grenades to keep the chainsaws stunned and get over 40 kills so all 6 chainsaws spawn. Then use your arm on all of them at once. Another way Krauser can deal with the Chainsaw Sisters is by using his knee attack. On random occasions, his knee will instantly kill these violent sisters. Or you can simply shoot them repeatedly with arrows as it takes around 7-10 to 10 arrows to kill them. 
Remember there are only 6 Chainsaw Sisters, who appear in pairs that kill counts of 10, 25 and 40. If you've managed to keep the combo going, then once the Chainsaw Sisters are dead you should have 60k. If not, then grab more time and use another bonus chest to start a new combo. The next stage is Castle. 348 enemies await you in this map, so if you can keep killing while maintaining a combo, then 60k should be easy. Fortunately, with how quickly Krauser can kill using his bow and his arm, you can easily stay on the ground floor of the castle and get all the kills you need for 60k. Most of the zealots will die from a single arrow to the body or a headshot. Krauser's arrows can also instantly destroy their shields. As for the Garadores, Krauser can kill them with ease in a couple different ways. The first Garador spawns at 25 kills. The most obvious way to deal with him is with Krauser's arm. If your arm isn't available when he appears, then you can kill him easily with your arrows. Just like a Magnum, Shooting the Garador in the face or shoulder with an arrow will force him to double over and expose his back. Two shots to his blagger will kill him. Alternatively, you can stun the Garadores with your grenades. Hang grenades and fire grenades will make them double over, and flash grenades will make them turn around instantly. Keep in mind that they don't hear Krauser fire his bow, so you can continue killing Ganados even when the Garadores are present. If you want to stay on the ground floor to keep an easy combo, then a combo of around 60 is all you need for 60k. Around 80 enemies spawn in this area if you keep moving to the far sides and up and down the stairs. Map 3 is the base or island, however you want to call it. This is the stage with the least number of enemies, but don't panic about that because the bosses are JJ, the fat guy with the Gatling gun and there's three of them here. Each counts for 10,000 points, so killing all three will give you 30,000 points. That's halfway to your 60k goal already. I recommend starting from this position because there are two bonus chests close together. If you can get 30 kills in the minute of time they provide, then that's another 30,000 points which will make for an easy 60k. For JJ, simply throw a flash grenade then use Krauser's arm to destroy him where he stands. If his arm isn't available, then use the reload cancel trick with the bow to keep him stunned as you pelt him with arrows. Around 5 arrows will be enough to bring him down. And remember that JJ won't shoot you if you're not looking directly at him. Here we are, the big one, Waterworld. The hardest mercenaries map in the game and the most daunting for new players due to our terrifying and permanently angry friend, Super Salvador. There are two of these monstrosities on this map, but even they are no match for Krauser's arm. As by this point I'm sure you can handle killing regular Ganado and keep a combo going, I'll focus the last portion of this guide on all of the different tactics you can use on Salvador. For the first Salvador, we spawn on this tower and make sure not to damage any of the ganado. We also need to make sure we don't look at the TNT ganado either, as we don't want him throwing his dynamite and ruining everything.
Jump down on the left side and you'll see that Salvador is hiding under the tower. It's worth noting that on the PS2 and PC 2007 versions of the game, Salvador will not be sitting idle like this. Simply run up to him and destroy him with your arm. Now you're free to climb the ladder and start your combo with the bonus chest. If you want to save your arm for the chest, then throw a flash grenade and use your arrows to kill him, remembering to skip the reload animation by letting go of the aim button after each shot. Like JJ, 5 shots should do the trick. Alternatively, if you want him to be part of the first combo, then damage him and use the flash grenade when he jumps up the ladder. Grab the chest before hitting him with the fifth arrow. As for the second Salvador, who spawns at 30 kills, there are three main ways to deal with him. The first is to simply use your arm to obliterate him. The second is to flash him and kill him with arrows just like we've previously seen, though this Salvador has more health and will take around 8 arrows instead. Alternatively, you can enable a glitch that prevents him from spawning entirely. If you have a grenade or TNT ganado, kill him and climb this ladder when 30 kills is counted. If you're climbing the ladder when the kill count goes to 30 or above, the second Salvador will never appear. But Sarko, I hear you say. What about the trick of knocking him down when he jumps up ladders? Can't Krauser do that too? Can't Krauser simply knock Salvador into the water? Well, yes, he can. But you have to use your knife. So the margin for error is very small. But if you're like me and like to show off, then go for it. From here, use what you've learned and just keep up your combo. Use the bonus chests and stay alive until time runs out. With Krauser's arm and bow, you shouldn't have much trouble obtaining 60k or more now that the Salvadores have been dealt with. If you found this video helpful, return the favour by liking and sharing it. If you would like to see more videos like this along with guides for the other characters, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when the next guide is uploaded. Until then, good luck, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.